Hi everyone, this is Aaron with Crypto Trends. Today is February 25th, 2019. Today, going to be doing a, something a little bit different. That is remote viewing, and we are going to take a look at Digibyte. Now, this is what I normally do in my own time. <coughs> Excuse me. These, um, these readings are sometimes... Um, they're quite interesting and stuff like that. And um, anyway, please note that they're not financial advice. They're they're basically just my opinion, using for entertainment purposes, you know, that type of stuff. But in this video, going to be remote viewing Digibyte. It's going to be a cold viewing. In other words, I haven't taken a look at Digibyte before. I haven't delved into... Um, its website or anything like that. The only thing I did is I've seen it on Coin Market Cap a few times. I haven't really seen the chart, but uh, you know I got their logo and stuff like that, and uh, that's really about it. And I've I've heard about it, but as far as the actual knowledge about Digibyte and stuff like that, I've never really taken a, a look at it. There's just been other coins out there, right? There's a ton of coins. This video should be a fun one because you're going to actually see a remote viewing and how I actually do it. What's the process? Alrighty. So let me make sure that I am indeed broadcasting. Yeah, it's live. All right. Let me get the chat. And uh, while I'm doing this, if you have questions about uh, Digibyte, put them down because I'll be in Digibyte's energy and um, really I mean that's like the best time to to ask a question about it so here we go and I do have coin gecko up here Digibyte somewhere around there I have to go find it so what I do is when I get started is that for remote viewing uh, remote viewing crypto and remote remote viewing physical places are very different where you don't have a physical location of crypto but you do have basically an energy signature of the of the crypto that's going on okay yeah you can go into the offices and stuff like that um, of where it's developed and and the people that do it but we don't we don't do that for ethical reasons we don't have their permission but we can look at the coin itself and um, you know some of the uh, we can look at the team basically from a general point of view and stuff like that just to glean um, general information we're not going to go into specifics about um, oh John Doe is uh, you know yelling at uh, whatever right we're not going into that it's it's none of our business we don't want to go there anyway so let me read this at the beginning. It's a standard declaimer. So Crypto Trends provides remote viewing of trends for cryptocurrency, traditional markets, social economics, politics, earth changes, and individual readings. Remote viewings are for entertainment purposes only and should not be considered as financial, legal, or tax advice, nor any other type of advice. For that, hey, seek out a professional. Okay, so here we go. Date is 2.25 at approximately 20.25 Pacific Standard Time. Actually, it's 20.37. Oh, well, close enough. Okay, and the purpose of this reading is to determine feasibility and investment quality of the token. So let's take a look. And you'll see here that I have several things that I'm going to be taking a look at. Okay. Uh, their vision, their vision viability is what they want to do. You know, what's the energy around that? Um, utility, scalability, you guys get the idea, okay? Some of these, uh, this is a, a standard, uh, kind of a standard template that I use, and some may or may not uh, apply, okay? Like scents, um, as in smells, that, that, that really doesn't apply. Well, let's hope not. I mean, <laughs> unless the thing stinks, right? Which, uh, uh, if it does, I'll put it down there, but probably does not apply and uh, movement yeah that could be several different things but you'll see when we get there so this is a remote viewing and how I start and if you're watching this go ahead and you can join me and what what I do is I have a general relaxation period where I'm getting into the zone getting into the zone 
and all it is is just relaxing so I take a um, I start doing Buddha's breath which is lower stomach breathing so I just take a nice slow breath bring the air and energy down to my lower stomach area and you can try this it's it's very relaxing okay <coughs> so I'm gonna take in a few deep breaths So I'm basically heading down into a meditative state. And um, watch on when with energy stuff, watch for voice inflections. Sometimes there's um, uh, you can glean information from just the inflection and tonal quality of the voice. Um, more than just the words anyway I'm still doing Buddha's breath I'm going down down just relaxing feeling my shoulders go down that type of thing go ahead and join me it's um, it's relaxing right just relaxing having fun getting into the zone clearing our head And this is so we don't um, what we're doing is we're quieting the body and mind down so the inputs we have from us does not um, interfere with the information that we're trying to get if that makes sense Okay. Alrighty. <clears throat> Have some coffee. Yeah, actually, um, caffeinated coffee helps. You might not think so, but it helps with the uh, the blood vessels in the uh, in the head and brain. Okay. So, did you bite? Did you bite? Is their vision viable? What are they trying to do? Is it viable? Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting definitely no worries there tech same strong dynamic whoops excuse my typing here guys what I'm doing is that um, The information, just, just to describe this to you, is that the uh, energy in the, in the heart, you can think of that as um, sending out radar signals, okay? And then the signals bounce back and come back to the heart. So the heart's like a transceiver. It, it transmits and receives. And the energy that comes back um, sometimes comes in words or sensations a lot of it comes in a type of energy sensation that really can't be described but with practice you kind of build up in an energy vocabulary uh, so when something comes in it's like oh okay I know I know what that is um, and that comes from experience and, and trying stuff like this out and sure, go ahead and uh, freeze the sc screen, and you can copy down these um, template topics if you like. Try this on your own. It's um, 
It's fun, just settle down. And there's health benefits to settling down, right? Stress relief. Okay, tech viability. Same as above, yes, definitely, no worries. Um, no worries, team capabilities, dynamic, competent. Getting um, small shakeup. Future. Um, what effect will that have? Minimal. More like streamlining. Okay, so a few um, a few people might see some migrations to other projects. Not a big deal. Don't worry about it. Um, streamlining here is 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 an important word. So yeah, good team. I would say good team. Good viability vision. Yeah, can it be accomplished? Yeah, that type of stuff. Market demand or interest. One to two years out. It's building. I know, my typing sucks. It's because I'm in a different state. The energy's energy's building now. Um, for this, for the strong demand, it's like just going to get stronger. Let me draw a curve. Where's my paint thing? I usually draw <sighs> color black uh, pen. Yeah, is that big enough for you guys to see? No. Let's increase the size. Maybe that's big enough. Molto bene. Let's say that the um, well it goes up like a curve. So that's yeah, we're about here in this area, okay, and this is two years right around there. Okay. Utility. Will it actually be used? Yep. Acceptance. Acceptance will be accepted or implemented. Yep. Regulate, ooh, ooh, iffy. Some enemies. Somebody's worried. Isn't that interesting? That just really came out fast. Um, I haven't got that on other coins. Um, really anything like that. Um, What does Digibyte do? I don't even know what it does. Tell you the truth. I know it's a crypto, that's it. But um, it's going to have a hard fight, it looks like, ahead of it. Um, interesting. Competition. Um, I 
avoid it. It's like there's um, yes, but um, different markets non compete. Um, they're not going to be really competing with anybody. Yeah, BTC, ETH. Uh, you know, they they compete with everything regardless. Um, but it's going to. Besides those two, um, it's uh, what do they call it? It's going to carve out um, its own niche, niche, its own niche, scalability, um, able, and. Um, future growth not a problem interest emotional characteristics stuff like that oh man there's the people love digibyte strong um, tribalism They love their coin, but they're not putting other people down, if that makes sense. Um, if you don't like Digibyte, then you know you can jump off a cliff. It's it's not like that. Um, loyal. Loyal followers. And devs, that's good. I love my keyboard. It's an Aki, actually. I think they make it in Australia. It is an awesome mechanical keyboard. <sighs> okay, strong tribalism. Okay, yeah. Um, big emotions around this one. Big emotions. Um, strong following. Strong following. Energetics. That has to deal more with like entities and stuff like that, so that doesn't, um, we're not going there. Environment. What the heck is this stuff? I'm just writing stuff down as it comes. Okay. Um, all right. Mood. Keep in mind, this is not the this is not the environment of um, of like the dev team or the company or anything like that. This is more like where where it's going to be uh, used at. Let me let me do that. Mood somber. Enthusiastic. Hope. Interesting.
movement drawing. like market penetration then a retracement this isn't like price movement okay this has to deal with like um, acceptance and usability and stuff like that they're about here now interesting um, What is that? That's like where it's going to be used a lot here, here. That's an ocean. This is an ocean, ocean. Land, land. What what's there? What's there? Let's bring a picture of the world. Come on.
Interesting. Venezuela, Colombia. Look at that. Venezuela, uh, interesting stuff. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Um, let me go put that in notes. That might explain this. Um, patterns, he, yeah, patterns. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Where's paint? There's paint. Okay. Uh, I'm going to save that file. Save as uh, JPEG. I'm going to call it BGB RV image. For yeah, image one that that'll work. Um, I'll just save it on my desktop. I do file new. It's the easiest way to clear. Um, patterns. idea what that is. I'm getting a lot of patterns that are like this. Okay guys? A lot of patterns like that. What they are, I don't know. You tell me. Forces, velocity, um,
Okay. That's, um... That's about it. Interesting, interesting, interesting energy. There's, um... Notes. Might have to uh, do another reading on this one. This one has um, this one has geopolitical implications about it. Quite interesting. Um, okay, um, I'm gonna look at the chat see if uh, anyone said anything. Okay, SHA and DGB got something cooking. All right. Um, okay, so that's that's Digibyte. So let's go take a look at um, just do the normal the normal uh, review stuff. So where is it? Digibyte. Digibyte. I don't even know where it's at. Oh, is that it? Yeah. Okay, it's up 6%. Let's go look at its chart. Yeah, 14 day. Get rid of that. Okay, it's been moving up. That's cool. Increasing volume. Let's look at the 60. Yeah, okay. So it's pretty much even for 60 days. But still, that's good. Um, yeah, go out to a year. It's going to suck wind. But um, yeah, holding its own. So... Uh, fairly cyclical here on the um, on the volumes. All right, that's cool. Where can you pick this guy up? Up it. Bittrex hit BTC. Plonix. Okay. Oh, Qcoin. Good. Let's go look at Qcoin. I like the charts on Qcoin better than uh, that little app. We'll check out its price and stuff. Search DGB. There it is. Up two and a half percent. Interesting. Um interesting. Um yeah. The waves. Um, expect to see more of this. Okay, that's that's what I'm thinking. More of this. More of the. Um, more of this type of thing. Whoops. Yeah. Change of colors. Like that. So waves. Except, yeah. Everything's going to go up in the market, it looks like, um, in the entire market. We'll see. Um, interesting stuff. Okay, that's that's Digibyte. Um, not a lot of interest. Not a lot of volume, actually. It's really fallen off. This was the most. Um, probably expect that to, um, to push forward it's doing its thing so what does digibyte um what does digibyte actually do i really don't have a clue <coughs> let's go to their website more secure faster transaction forward thinking blockchain technology okay that says nothing Five years consistent committed development. Yeah. Um, new use cases. Longest, fastest, most secure blockchain in existence. Really? So the decisions mining blockchain decentralized as possible. Fast transactions, 40 times faster than Bitcoin. Okay. Let's 
So they have Segwit. Oh, they're like a um, they're like an actual currency. I don't see any smart contract. Who 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 blue here? Um, making them ideal for protecting objects of value like currency, information, property, or important digital data. Okay. Digibytes can be sent over the blockchain. High security. Eh, fairly good speeds. Things are faster, but you know, sometimes speed isn't everything. Tried and tested for four years. That's cool. Get your digibytes today. I don't know if I put in the word fast. <laughs> I'd put in, uh, it's not a turtle, but, um, um, this is for the future. I'm just scanning this thing. Frankly, their webpage does not do them justice. Um, okay. If you guys are watching anybody on the dev team or whatever, cut this BS um, garbage where you're like uh, a student in some lower level English class in college where everything is pages and pages of fluff. Get to the point, get, what, get to what you do. Um, guys want uh, marketing stuff or whatever. Uh, Put a note below. <laughs> we can talk. Um, become part of the community. Yeah, it says it says this the same thing. Um, it's difficult to tell what they do other than they're like a a cryptocurrency. Okay. Let's see if there's anything under about. Five mining operation uh, algorithms. To prevent mining centralization compared to a single algorithm blockchain. That's actually pretty huge, guys. This has this has geopolitical significance to it, okay? This means it cannot be um, basically Ant miners, ant miners are not going to be the uh, the sole ones um, mining this thing in China. Okay. Difficulty adjustments. Okay. Yeah, it's like a secure Bitcoin, I guess. Um, yeah, they're using SegWit. Okay, segregated witness. IoT devices. AI, yeah. Okay. Um, well, their website, I'll tell you, does not do them justice for what they have coming down the pipe. This is an important. Uh, this is an important crypto in the crypto community. Uh, it's going to have ramifications in the future looking uh, one and a half, two years out uh, to where it starts gaining, um, let's put it this way, stronger recognition of market penetration. Um, most likely uh, looking at, it looks like um, off of that one picture, uh, S South America is going to be the big part. Don't know why Venezuela, they have their own uh, Petro whatever thing going on down there, but they're so screwed up. Um, <laughs> you know, they'll probably take anything they can. And why am I going in between these two? I have no idea. Uh, that's probably annoying. I'm sure it is. I found it annoying and I was the one doing it. All right. This is actually, um, 
guys, this is actually one to keep your eyes on for for the long term. Um, okay, for the long term, not much energy for it um, over the you know next two years. It's like they're they're being a turtle. Okay, they're moving forward, but you can have a hare or a turtle. Remember that one. Um, that one um, uh, drawing I did where there was forward movement and then back movement. It's like they went into a market and they had to retrace, run out, and then they they got back in for whatever. Uh, they could have been chased out or whatever. Who knows? Um, <coughs> interesting. It looks. It's almost like they're going to be somebody's. Um, somebody's currency um yeah interesting interesting stuff so that is digibyte um keep it on your radar okay high price spikes and stuff like that you know it's a market um you have the composite operators they make the market go up or down however they like okay um but those days are going to be numbered um for the entire market this one will be interesting to actually watch very interesting energy here very unique very very unique energy okay so that is digibyte um interesting interesting stuff see if there's any more comments if not i'm going to go ahead and take off JB says uh, speculation is they land a big government contract. Actually, yeah, that. Uh, thanks for the comment, JB. That fits right in. Um, that's going to be just the beginning from what it looks like. Interesting, interesting stuff. Um, okay, guys. Well, that's about it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, get notified. This is basically how I um, do a remote viewing on coins. After this, I go in and I do a lot more research on the fundamentals. Um, you know, and I go from there. And that's that's a lot of stuff that I do that you guys don't see. Because these are lengthy, um, lengthy videos and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, go ahead and put your comments, your thoughts, um, where you think Digibyte is going. But it's a very, uh, from here, it is a very interesting project from what I can see. Anyway, that's it. Like, subscribe, get notified, ding the little bell, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful, wonderful night. Once again, this is Aaron with Crypto Trends taking a look, a remote viewing at Digibyte. Catch you later, guys. And gals, of course. <laughs>